G'day. Um, I want to take you back to a time when the City to Surf in 1983 gave t-shirts like this. And when windsurfing was like this. I'm telling you this sail, the RAF Wave 5.5 from Neil Pride was the DBs. Nothing could touch it. So I want to talk you through the rig design. First of all we have a mast foot and we have a really good pulley block system down here fitted into the bottom of the sail and um, this mast extension which was uh, 50 bucks um, fits snugly into a Rotho 430 fiberglass mast and you can just see the quality of that mast here this is a really strong mast and a nice good foam foam handle grip on the on the boom here or the wishbone as we like to call it and I'd like you to see in particular the the clamp on arrangement here there was quite an art to get in this right a couple of loops of string around here tight and then you fold it up and make it really snug and that's a mark of a good windsurfer was somebody who could get their mast and uh, boom connection really snug interestingly the colors of the mast and the sail have to be kind of you know exciting and dramatic and inspiring and that's what we've got here I can see these colors coming back into fashion now some 35 years later the other thing to notice about this technology is the number of buttons there's just a few buttons in this sail and uh, modern sails are going back to reduced buttons for that lovely feel that loose feel um, and that just proves really that nothing new comes into windsurfing so I want to take you on to the uh, I want to take you on to the board design now we've got a, uh, a racing board here from BIC, it's a Techno 283 from BIC Sport. Um, it comes with four foot straps, and the uh, graphic on here says large, 152 liters. So this is a real winner. It comes in blue with yellow, or it comes with blue with black. You can see the design of the board, nice sleek outline, good sharp rails here. Lovely seam joint just here, so you know where the water's supposed to stop. Great technology, good sound, and a really, really good fin on this one. And we're looking to get this baby out in the water. This mast connection is a, is a gem, really easy to fit. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to getting this uh, superboard out in the water. So back to the RAF wave. Uh, rotational asymmetric foil wave for those of you who were uninitiated it's got a great pull handle here for really dragging on that out all this is a really essential feature of sails of the day again another pressed uh, fitting here great uh, solid plastic that that's, that's not going anywhere 30 years later that's rock solid couple of pulleys in there no rust good stainless steel being used and a good bit of six mil rope note the reason there's no need for a cleat out, a cleat out here. We're going to do it the old-fashioned way with knots and knots and knots. And if it comes undone, so be it. A feature I'd like to bring to your attention are these uh, adjustable batten tensioners. You just crank it on, strap it back. So now we've uh, successfully threaded the outhaul rope through the pulleys. We can now grab hold of the handle and crank on that outhaul ideal for this Rathway 5.5 warp oriented Neil Pride sail. So uh, for light wind sailing we don't really need harness lines and these ones are beauties about 40 inches long and due to be set 20 inches apart but for today we'll take them off because we're going to be light wind sailing and freestyling. So these two babies looking like a very uh, well coordinated colour matched set about ready to go off and take on the Australian wild outdoors. For this kind of windsurfing, it's essential that we wear a branded t-shirt that shows that we're really cool windsurfers. So this one says Jerrica Cora, 30 knots. 
And this is the state of the art windsurfing that goes along with this windsurfing equipment. Yeah, it's really, really, really blowing up now. Um, I think oh, it's hard to hold in the camera steady, but we're going to give it a go. Yeah, and then we'll drop off again, go blue, and then drop off it.